It's dinner time for these French pussycats, a need and a pleasure, but one which some say has an environmental cost attached. A New Zealand study says dogs eat an average of 164 kilos of meat and 95 kilos of cereals per year. The energy needed to produce this food would keep a four-wheel drive on the road for twice as long. Cats eat less, but still match the carbon footprint of a mid-sized family car. That's not what animal lover Sylvie likes to hear. Our animals give us so much that I don't feel like a polluter at all. I think the love we have for our animals and what they contribute to our lives outweighs the environmental considerations. I don't want a life without animals. Sylvie says she'd rather give up her car than her pets, but to offset the ecological impact of all her cats and dogs, it would, according to the study, not take just one car, but an entire fleet. Pets have a cost and a carbon footprint. It's linked to food, to keeping them healthy and cleaning up their excrement. Defenders of pets say it's unfair to single them out. They suggest offsetting animal pollution with cleaner habits elsewhere. Pets are antidepressants. They help you cope with stress. They're good for the elderly. Everyone should work out their own environmental impact. I should be allowed to say that I walk instead of using my car and that I don't eat meat. So why shouldn't I be allowed to have a little cat to alleviate my loneliness? Are environmentalists sparking up the wrong tree? Difficult to say for sure. But as the debate on climate change heats up, the impact of man's best friend on the planet may well come under much closer scrutiny.